Welcome to part 3 and the finishing of my surfboard restoration. Looking at my design, I was thinking uh, it's not quite finished, it was lacking something, it needed more somehow. And I decided that I was going to put a pinstripe in, so initially my thoughts were just to paint it on at the end and hope it uh, lasts alright, and if it wears off, it wears off, no big deal. Started doing some investigations and found that I could easily enough do a resin pinstripe because I had some black pigment. So, I've mixed me up some resin with some black pigment, and I have masked out the uh, pinstripe that I require, and I'm now going to uh, apply myself a black resin pinstripe to my surfboard resto. Okay, the resin is still wet and we have removed the tape and there we go. One resin pin line. Looks reasonably consistent. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that completes the design. Oh, we should have done down there too actually, in hindsight. Maybe you could have done with a pinstripe down there, yeah. Anyway, I think that completes the board far more. Right, my pinstriping is now uh, finished and all sanded. I went in and added these two extra pieces afterwards because I thought it just sort of finished it off the board better and just boarded uh, the design. I think it looks way better. <coughs> now I am going to uh, trim back my fins. When I first got the board 15 years ago, it was to be used to be um, towed behind a boat and the tail end wasn't very loose for steering it very well, so I cut the back fins down to loosen it up, but I kept the center fin to uh, ensure it still was surfable. What I've done, I've got a ship's curve and I've put some marks on it, decided where I wanted to on one fin and then just transferred it over to the other, making sure I put it on the same side so it matches. And then I'm going to get my die grinder with a drum sander on it, and I'm going to grind that out. Alright, after that, we should be good to go for clear coating, or gloss coating. Right, our resin has now arrived from our courier. Seven days to travel 90 kilometers in lockdown. Um, we're now going to prepare our top coat. Right, I've run a tape line around the edge to catch the resin that runs over it. I have wiped down the deck with um, acetone to ensure it's nice and clean. I've added some wax solution to my surfboard resin. And here is my wax solution that makes it uh, sandable. So when I put the gloss coat on, I can then cut it back and polish it to a, a nice finish. Although I don't have a machine for that, I have to do it by hand. So it's, it's only going to get to a certain gloss, I guess. Now I'm ready to uh, mix up and give it a go, and I am quite nervous about that. And there is our gloss coat. Looks relatively even. I can see some brush marks in here and over there, which is not mint. Unfortunately, apparently you can't overwork the resin. So we'll just see, we'll see how that turns out. And uh, it's going to have a sand back anyway. So hopefully it smooths out and dries and. Those brush marks aren't too much of an issue or are too thin with a black. 
the deck is all dry you can kind of see some little light brush marks in there but it looks more like waxy over there it's going to need a bit of sanding but it's come up pretty good i'm pretty happy with it made a tape lip around the edge i've sanded the edge where the masking tape lipped up the last time now i'm going to flip it over and hit the bottom boards wiped down masked off got my ppe good to go let's gloss this sucker Right, resin's all wet, sticky and glossy. You can see the stuff in it, like it's not super clean my environment, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Right, the board is now just starting to flash off. I don't know if you can see in the light on camera, but if I move it up and down, the reflection and the lights, you can see some brush marks in there. It's kind of starting to dry. There's lots of dust in it. It's quite dirty, the bottom, unfortunately. I'll try and cut and polish it out. It's a little bit weird at the back here. I've removed the tape. You can sort of just make out a line there, maybe. I'll sand that out as well. And uh, go for hand polishing next. Or I could just go and wax it and surf it. Whatever I desire. But I'm going to polish it. Right, the surfboard is now all cured and is good to go. Technically it's finished, I could just chuck some wax on it, throw in a leg rope and let's go surfing. But I'm going to try and polish out the deck. To do this I'm using uh, wet and dry sandpaper. Just sandpaper, it's uh, soaked in water and you use water and rub it on. I'm starting with the rails. First there's a join in the clear coats, or gloss coats, so I'm going to start with 400 grit on that. And I'm going to then move to 800 grit and go down the grates to try and get a polish. In the end, I'll polish it. Um, I've masked it off because the deck, I'm, only gonna, I'm not going to do 400. I'm just going to start with 800 there. So in my sandpaper and then just... And I'll keep going until that polish comes out. Uh, that line. Fast forward five hours of sanding, and I have actually sanded through my fingers. Anyway, here is the board done, sanded. Sanded basically three times, uh, 400, 800, and I finished on 2000. It's nearly shiny. If you move it, it can see it in the light on camera, uh, without a polish on it at all. It's a little bit wet on the bottom from being washed, but... Right, fairly smooth and nice so one more process to complete and that is the polishing I sand it to 2000 grit because I am hand polishing it and done the whole lot by hand if I had it done it by machine then I probably would have only gone to 800 and then buffed the rest out with the, with a compound but using hand 2000 grit it is half polished half not And there we have it, our final finished product, glossed, polished, an old surfboard with a brand new finish, a little patch there I could fix up, but I'm pretty happy with that, it's come out real nice, it's like having a brand spanking new board, I've had this board 15 years, it was given to me, now it's finished, brand new, like ready to go all up it has cost me roughly 65 dollars for the finished product and i'll get another 15 years plus use out of this board easily very happy you can see this silver flake kind of in the sun when it reflects on it i may have overdone it a little bit you can see it there those patches are metallic flake oh that's the end thanks for watching
Kia ora.